おや気づきましたか陸殿も好き者にござるな Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we are going to be talking about the season 15 meta changes with the care package specifically, what's coming out with the Mastiff most likely, and what's going to be taking its place, and also some future lore that has been dropped by Apex Legends News. We're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about Apex Legends. So we have a bunch of cool stuff to talk about in the future of Apex Legends today, and one that is actually pretty interesting comes from Apex Legends News that went when talking to Respawn about Season 15, they asked if Margo, who was Catalyst friend in the cinematic stories from the Outland, if that person was indeed Big Sister, and Respawn actually said no comment, which seems to allude that that is most likely the situation, and there's a couple of reasons for this. One, the explosion most likely did take out her eye, as we see from Big Sister. Along with that, they have the same color of hair, and the crack on the faceplate a big sister matches the scar that we see on Margo. There's also an interview that I did with the voice actress for Catalyst, and she told me that her best friend was actually the voice actor for Margo in the cinematic stories from the Outland, and because she's also a fairly well-known voice actress, it would make sense that they're actually going to be keeping her on. Now, in regards to what Margo slash big sister will actually do in the game, I actually think it is the leak that was shown a couple of seasons ago for a character called Scryer. Now, Scryer originally was a character from the Bangalore stories from the Outland, but most likely at this point it is a code name. They have the passive specter where they can automatically optic hunt and spectate your killer. They can have a tactical optic hunt where it's a parasite trap that reveals the target vision and an ultimate shadow wall where you unleash a creeping wall of darkness that blocks sight and blinds enemies, which actually seems to have become Catalyst Ultimate as that got changed around. Remember, this is a fairly old leak, so a lot of things are going to change from what we saw in this one to what we actually see in the game. I still think it'll be a couple of seasons before we actually see Margo introduced, although it could be sooner than we think but we also know from that one gaming bot that according to leaks and information that he has received, some of the Apex Legends mobile characters such as Fade does seem to be coming to the main game, which is pretty interesting because Fade has some abilities that we saw in another leaked legend as well, and so it would make sense that since they were testing some of his abilities on the main game, him coming over could actually very much be a thing. RCO actually drew up some really cool mock images of both Fade and Rhapsody in the main version of the game, and I think they actually fit and look pretty cool. If they actually end up being functional, that is a whole different debate. But now, let's go ahead and talk about the meta changes with the care package next season. The big news right now is that in the gameplay trailer for season 15, we saw a clip of the Mastiff and it had six rounds in it. Now the care package Mastiff has four rounds in it, so this does seem to indicate that it will be coming back to the ground loot. However, not everything we see in trailers always tends to be 100% accurate, as people heard an alternator disruptor clip in a trailer as well for the upcoming season, and that was most likely a goof or just a sound element they wanted to do. But it does make a lot of sense that the Mastiff will be coming out and it matches up with the trailer because the massive has been in there the longest alongside the Kraber, but the Kraber never comes out. And the other two weapons that we have in there right now are the Rampage and the Bowcheck Bowl, both of which will not be coming out of the care package, most likely. The Bowcheck, due to the fact that there's just not enough other weapons on the ground that use arrows, so there's no reason to pull it, and the Rampage just got put in. Not saying it couldn't happen, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, we could always see the massive replaced with another shotgun. The Peacekeeper's been in there before. I don't think it would really fit. The Eva 8 could be a viable option. My favorite idea is the fact that Jay Miles brought up the April Fool's Mozambique, but I just still don't think it's quite powerful enough compared to the other weapons in the care package. But since the Volt SMG was pulled out recently, I actually think it is going to be an SMG that goes in. And my most likely culprit would be one of the light SMGs, as there's three of them. We have the Alternator, the Car, and the R99. Now, we already talked about the Alternator with the Disruptor rounds. If they do go with that, that would be interesting, but we saw it pretty recently in Season 10. My money would be on the Car SMG or the R99. Right now, we have a lot of light ammo weapons on the ground, such as the Spitfire, which was just recently moved from heavy to light. Then you have the P-2020 and the RE-45. You have the G-7 Scout, the R-301, three different SMGs. It just seems like there's a lot in the loot pool, and moving the R-99 would make a lot of sense. But that's just my theory, but it does seem very likely that the Mastiff will be the one coming out of the care package. Let me know down below, what would you like to see replace the Mastiff in the care package? What kind of rotation would you like to see? And fits meta the most, and how do you feel about Margo coming in as Mad Maggie in the future? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.